So I guess you're ready to learn how to use your new Joby Wavo Pro Super Cardioid Microphone. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together right after this intro. Welcome to my channel, another manual for you guys. Today we're going to understand how this Super Cardioid Microphone works. Super Cardioid Microphone by Joby, the Wavo Pro. We're going to learn how to charge it first. It's a very good step, isn't it? On the right hand side of the mic, you will have a USB-C connection type port right there. In the box, you have received your USB-C cable to USB. You want to connect the USB-C to the port of the microphone and now the normal USB to a power bank or your socket. And now, have a look at the light at the back when I turn the power bank on. Green light started to flash. So that means my microphone is already fully charged. If the light is red, it means you have no battery left in your microphone. If the light is yellow, then you're at 50% of battery. I got my camera out, a Sony a7R 3 because I want to learn how to mount the microphone on the camera. Under the Wavo Pro, you will have a plate, a square plate. This is called cold shoe. We need to slide the cold shoe in the hot shoe of the camera. It's literally the same square uh, mount this time on top of the camera where you usually place your flash as well. The microphone usually of course faces the direction of the sound source. If the sound source is in front of the camera then your microphone is facing that sound source. If instead you want to film uh, but you don't want to show yourself so you are talking behind the camera then you want to place the microphone facing yourself the other way around. But for the purpose of the manual Let's face it straight forward. Now we're gonna use the thumb screw, which is the one underneath the microphone. It's a rotating uh, swivel. We're going to rotate it and lock it in place. With the microphone, you have this mini jack to mini jack cable. That's gonna help us to connect the camera to the microphone. In my Sony a7R 3 I'm gonna look for the microphone input, which is this red uh, port right there and I'm going to connect the first end of the mini jack. On the microphone itself, on the left hand side, you have another port for the microphone, of course, with the tiny photo camera icon. That's where we're gonna plug it in and go. In this case, we're going to use the camera to record the audio through the microphone, of course, but Joby is supplying us with another option. With the same charging cable we used before, we can connect our microphone to a laptop without using any camera. In that case, if you want to use the Wavo Pro for whatever purpose through your laptop, you can, because this cable is going to work as an input cable for your laptop. So let's rotate the mic once again. Same USB-C port we used before. You plug this cable in, and the other normal USB extremity to your laptop. And you're ready to roll. How do we turn the microphone on and off? There's a power button at the back of the microphone. It's the one in the center. There are three buttons here. The one in the center, the bigger one, that's your power button. We press it and hold it two seconds. One, two, green light is on, mic is on. There's another option that we can turn on with the app and we're gonna check it later. It's an auto turn on and off uh, option basically. So whenever you turn your camera on, also your microphone will turn on and vice versa. When you turn your camera off, the mic will go off. Next step is to set up the volume of our camera that varies for each camera. So uh, what I do on the Sony, well, first of all, I turn it on. When you are in movie mode, you go to your menu in audio rec level. I go in there and this is actually the levels of my audio. I can see the, you know, the green lights. It is, this is the audio meter that tells me if the audio is good enough, it's too loud or not loud enough. 
and you want to have your volume in with green green lines when you get to yellow that's uh, it's a dangerous area and when it's in red you're clipping so you want to stay usually in the green yellow area don't go over it so you can just test it out related to our camera audio is also the backlight here the power light because if i'm clipping with my voice with my audio with the level of my uh, audio this is going to become yellow and red as well exactly like in the camera good stuff great next step still about the volume this time we learn how to adjust the volume of the microphone on the microphone itself let's say my gain is not high enough then we have two buttons on the left hand side of the microphone still on the left hand side we are talking about this side of, of the microphone saying plus 10 and plus 20 so we can increase the gain of our microphone of 10 decibels or 20 decibels according to the situations of course so let's do it let's record and i'm going to show you how it works oh, hello can you see me now so i'm just talking with the normal gain of the microphone we're going to increase it now with the first button of 10 decibel are you with me i'm still talking with the same there you go i'm still talking with the same uh, uh, volume of voice i and you simply press the button once to add 10 decibels to your gain if you press it twice i mean if you press it one more time we're going to plus 20 and that's how i sound with the plus 20 decibels if you press it the third time you go back to the normal to the default audio level how do we set up a safe track a safe track is basically a, an extra track recorded by the microphone with minus 10 decibels if you are in extremely loud conditions then you can set up a safe track and record on one channel of your camera of your audio normal level and the other channel will be recording minus 10 decibels it's just a safety net in case the normal audio channel of your camera is clipping so after a lot of words how do we set up the safety track still at the back of our microphone the very first button at the top it's not lit up right now we need to press it and uh, see what happens my audio levels on the camera are now the same because i'm recording the same uh, track the same audio level on both channels if i press this button there's a tiny red uh, light lighting up and now you can see one level is higher than the other on the channels on my camera audio channels because i'm recording the left channel with minus 10 decibels if i want to go back to the standard mono i simply press it again then we have a dead cat it looks more like a dead mouse <laughs> like a rat <laughs> this is for windy days uh, when the wind the strong wind hits the microphone usually clips your audio the dead cat or windscreen windshield is going to help you to spread the air hitting the microphone without clipping your audio you just light it on top of your foam uh, screen right there and we attach the elastic band to the end of the mic <whistles> now there are certain settings and options of the microphone that can be accessible just through the app and that's what we're going to download right now let's go to your iStore or Play Store when you are in your store search for Wavo Pro and hit search Wavo Pro the first one with a lot of circles and dots that's the app we want and we click on it and we press on install when it's installed click on open now we are asked to turn our Bluetooth and GPS like the location on so go to your mobile phone to your settings make sure you turn your Bluetooth but also your location on and go back to the app for now don't do anything if the Bluetooth uh, options come up from your phone just click on the app go back to the app and let's keep all the menu and tutorials for now yeah the app is asking to 
access the location and we did so. So click on request, use the location while using the app, the first option. The app is searching for our microphone, which is off. So make sure it's on, but also before we connect the app to the microphone, at the back of the microphone, there's a third button, the one at the bottom with the Bluetooth icon. Click on that, one, two, the light will become blue and it will start uh, flashing because we are trying to pair our app to the microphone now. If the connection didn't work the first time, try again. Click on try again. Aha! Connecting and there you go. We need to update uh, apparently the app or the microphone. So click on start preparing yeah so we need to just wait for now and uh, just wait I will see you after this is done success we have updated the firmware we click on done and we are gonna access the app searching because it's searching for the mic again and here we are inside the app. That's our first screen and I'm going to record on camera as well on this camera so you can see and hear what's happening with the audio. The one in the middle is the audio gain, the audio level of our microphone coming from this microphone. You can hear me. The one on the left hand side, it's a fader to adjust the gain. And I can simply scroll up and down. And that will change the volume of my gain. Yeah, can you hear me a bit louder and a bit quieter going down? Okay, it's very basic right now. There's an equalizer which is going to help to make the sound more even. The equalizer is called EQ. The A and R button means ambient noise reduction. So if we press that, the microphone is trying to avoid and cancel some ambient noise. Maybe if you are on the street, the traffic, you know, a fan noise and air conditioner, that kind of stuff. If we click on edit, we go in a deeper and more interesting menu where you can adjust some settings manually. And again, you can reduce some noises. If you go in low cut filter at the bottom, that's gonna help to reduce some low frequencies again as a fan or air conditioning and so on. And we can turn it on and off and we can do so also with the equalizer. Just click on the button and we go on and off. You can also adjust some settings individually, so the warmth of, your, of the sound, the clarity and the presence. What I recommend to do here, guys, take your earphones or headphones, connect it to your camera and simply listen to the sound as you are adjusting the settings. It would be much more easier than explaining it. On the top left hand side, you have a button that says basics because we are in the basic mode of the app. If you go and click it, we are going into the advanced mode and now you can literally go setting by setting and adjust whatever you want. Let's go back to the basic. Yep. And the left arrow, the very top. And now we have three dots on the left hand side at the top of the app. If you click on it, you have other settings, which are the first one, the output gain. The output gain represents the gain buttons that we checked before, the plus 10 and plus 20. If I click on it, I'm going to add 10 decibels and you hear the sound from the camera. And if I press it again, and you can hear me better this way, we're going to plus 20. Wow, that's really loud. I can hear it and I press it the third time and we go back to zero, all right? Exactly like the buttons on the left hand side of the microphone. You can adjust the brightness of the LED light, which is the power light right there. Uh, yeah, you can just customize and personalize your settings. And now, remember at the beginning, I told you there's an option, it's called auto power mode. So whenever you turn your camera on and off, your microphone will turn on and off with the camera and we click on it because I like this option. So I don't need to remember to turn my microphone off or on. It simply will turn on with the camera. That's pretty much it. Very simple. If we go back to the 
first screen, the very bottom button is called Safe. With this mode, we are going to enable the safety track that again we have seen before with the button at the back of the microphone, the top button. And have a look at the light here. If I press on Safe in the app, the red light is coming on on the mic. If I press it again, it will go off. All right, symbols. Last thing we're going to check together is uh, the second input we have in the microphone. On the right hand side of the mic, this time we have an extra input for an extra lapel microphone, for example. So let's say I have a dual interview or simply I need to use a lapel mic. I can just use the Wavo Pro as an interface and plug in my lapel mic. Plug it in. There you go. Oh, wow. I can really feel the difference. All right. Uh -huh. Look good. Double trouble. On this side of the mic, as on the other side, we have the same buttons. 1 plus 10 and 1 plus 20 decibels. Again, to increase the audio gain, this time of this lapel mic. So don't confuse the two sides of the mic, remember. And I'm going to add 10 decibels to my lapel microphone. I click on the plus 10 button and you can really hear the difference and now you can hear me now right i'm gonna press on the 20 and there you go wow that's loud if i press it again i should go back to zero there you go standard this is the default audio gain of the lapel mic but now as we have two different microphones basically if we press remember the top button here at the back of the mic that was the safety track before but now it's a button to separate the two channels and to record in stereo mode. By default, the light will be off and that means I have two different tracks on two different channels, one for the Wavo Pro itself and one for the lapel microphones. So in this case, I will be able in post-production to separate the two tracks on two different channels and mix it properly. If I have two people speaking, for example, but if I press it and the light will go red, now I turned on the mono mode, which means the microphones will blend and merge the two tracks together, the two channels together, and I will not be able to separate the voices, the two tracks in post-production. You're now ready to go out there and use your new Wavo Pro by Joby. I hope the video helped out. If you have any question, as always, drop a comment in the comment tab down here. Hit the subscribe button, do it right now. Hit the like button and share the content with your friends. A lot of stuff coming on this channel. And I hope I will really see you in the next video. Yeah, I hope I do. I say thanks to Joby for sending out this gear. Also go and check the Gorilla Pod. My first time using it. Shh. See you soon.